In this video, I'm going to show you how to add columns and rows to tables in Word. Hello guys, this is Online Office Teacher, where I help you manage your data and information through online video, just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That's it. Let's get started. So to add columns and rows to tables in Word, you will need an existing table. And I already have my table here, as you can see. Now let's consider this table to be an invoice, where we bought some items, that is book, pencil and eraser their respective quantities and amount. And looking at this invoice critically, you will see that something is missing and that is price. For us to get the various amounts for these items, we need to multiply quantities by price in order to get the amount. But here is the case, we don't have the price column. So we are going to see how we can add a column for our table. So to add a column in tables, you need to identify the particular point where you want to add the column. In this example, I want to add a column in between quantity and amount. So to do that, I need to make sure that my table is enabled by clicking anywhere inside so that I will be able to see table tools. So under table tools, I go over to layout and I'm going to use the rows and columns group. Now in here, I have five commands that I can use. And for columns, we are going to use either insert left or insert right. Using any of these two commands will depend upon where you have your insertion point. So in this example, I need a column in between quantity and amount. And as you can see, my insertion point is somewhere inside quantity column. So for me to get my column inserted in between quantity and amount, I need to use the insert right command. So if I click on it, you see that a new column will be created. Awesome. Now let me quickly reverse it by clicking on undo and I'm going to go ahead and use the insert left command. So to do that, I need to make sure my insertion point is inside somewhere under amount column. It doesn't really matter where you click. It can be here, 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 or even here. So upon clicking, I click on insert left and you see that a new column is created. So in here, you go ahead and enter the respective information. So I do this pretty quick. All right, I've entered my information. With this same process, you can add columns to your tables at whatever location you want. Next, let's see how we can add rows to our table. Using this same table, we want to assume that we needed an item that should have appeared in between book and pen, and that item happened to be pencil. So with this, we need to insert a row. So to insert a new row in between book and pen, you need to make sure that your insertion point is inside any of these two rows because we need a row to appear in between these two items. So to do this, we can use these two commands that is insert above and insert below. Take note, using these two commands, just like in the case of inserting columns, will depend upon where you have your insertion point. So if I click anywhere where I have books, that is the book row, meaning I can use insert below. So if I click on it, a new row will be created below the book row. Let me quickly click on undo to reverse it. Now, if I want to use insert above, I'll have to make sure that my insertion point is anywhere inside the pen row. So I can even click at the last cell where I have pen. Then I'll go ahead and click on insert above and a new row will be created for me. Perfect. I'll just go ahead and enter in my information. All right, I've entered my information. So that's it on how to add columns and rows to tables in Word. I hope this video was helpful. If you found value, kindly hit the like button, subscribe, and also enable the notification bell so that you won't miss out on future videos. Keep watching, and I will see you in the next one.